Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories, trending topics, celebrity gossips, lifestyle as conversations and so much more. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ark. Hi ladies. Hey. How are you doing? What's wrong with you? That face you just made. They didn't catch it. Yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, moving on real quick from the lovebirds. Um, oh, wow. President Buhari has ordered distribution Lovebirds of call. 150 Love trucks nest. of rice seized <laughs> by Nigeria Customs Service to the 36 states of the Federation. We called that last week, which had Mufed Damijo asked that the government give out seized food items. Buhari also approved the engagement of 774,000 Nigerians on special public works program in the country to cushion the effect of COVID-19 pandemic. I guess someone is listening. It's true. Why are you laughing? I'm so sorry. I'm just not, man. Well, yeah, we had the conversation yeah, here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did, man. It's happening. So you were very keen on this rice coming out, and the rice yeah. is out. Why are you not excited? Well, he didn't even think there was any rice. Uh, no, I felt no, there wasn't I, rice. He said he was sure that yeah. Right. And you said F FG right. wasn't watching. It seems like FG is also watching uh, our social media. Okay. My, 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 my problem is why do we always have to like you know, like an, an arm twist before they get to do what they're supposed to do? I so, even think. Mm. Uh, and so sometimes it just makes me feel, you know what, our leaders, it's not necessary because they don't know what to do. I feel sometimes they just intentionally, deliberately would hold solutions to, to the myriads of problems facing mm, us. That rather make me feel know. like they don't know what to do. They would tell people to come up with their ideas. I don't even, to be honest, I don't think this is because of RMD. I think they've always and had that in mind. Not so because mind. of RMD. Had no, no, no. Yeah, okay. I, feel like, I feel like RMD is Trust definitely me. not powerful enough Sorry, to I, I beg to differ, get into right? the FG's if ears and they'll respond that quickly. No, I don't think it's RMD. It has nothing to do with RMD. So it's not too difficult to get into their ears. I don't think so. I think it's what maybe they've seen other nations do. You know, and so my, own, my, my, my point is, does it have to always get to this, you know, before you do what is right by the people? Which is why we're also, so you know, we don't have sense until we see other nations. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> But the good goodness, RMD spoke out, but I, it, I don't think it has anything to do with RMD, by the way. But hey, good thing he spoke out. And yeah, as far as he said, it should distribute rice. So let them distribute rice. Has and, it uh, gotten to you, Benny? But you, you, know, you, know really it's not, you know it's not going to get to me. Well, apparently, there's people, in, there are people who live on the island that are Please. getting bags of rice, isn't it? Did you not see that video on mm -hmm. WhatsApp? Where some lady was like, thank you, um, I live in VI, and don't come for me, oh, but make sure it gets to other people. I don't know why on earth VI will be on your list. Of people to be giving rice to. No offense. No, are you saying that? Are you saying that? No, 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 the privileged people some in people VI. Some people got rice in VI. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that on the privileged people no, in VI. But I still feel like that should not be the first place you start from. Why? And this person has WhatsApp and uh -uh. thingy. That's uh -uh. not to me. Oh, the privileged people have WhatsApp. There's no way you are going to start with VI. There's nothing you can tell me. Why don't you start I with the JPL or start with somebody yeah, who actually I, has yeah. serious problems? Yeah, but she as much as I agree with she you, she does not need. Bag of rice. The when, when there people, people who are crying can buy data that too. don't have anything, let's be real, anything yeah. at all. You're telling me about a girl on My problem VI. problem is are you you're kidding? having a problem with VI. The fact that they yes, did because it it's privileged. No, not no. everyone. In this I, lady I, I in particular disagree. does not need rice over a lot of people on the on the mainland. Okay. Um, uh, so is it about the lady or about the location now? Location even. Because <laughs> I even feel like even to. the poorer people to. that are here are not as displaced as others on the mainland or we other concentrated areas. We need to learn where to say we won, when to celebrate, <laughs> and when to quarry. <laughs> and this time around, <laughs> We asked the government to do something, mm. and they have done it. Okay. What, they gave Let a rich lady say, in VI? Or no. what? What? The story in question. Right. Okay. Okay. And they have done it, so... so what should we do now? We should applaud, kudos. We should applaud what them. What have they then, done? Now, we haven't seen anyone say they've How are they going uh, to distribute it? Execute it? Exactly. That's implementation. Is. implementation. That's, I feel like when that happens is when I'll give them a kudos. They've just said something. I haven't I haven't seen anyone with rice. Once I see those boys that they yeah. went to give a loaf of rice to like four of them, a loaf of bread, rather, to four of them. Until I see that, there's no kudos. Like, you've just said stuff they've been saying stuff I'm not it's ridiculous give, i'm not gonna give no kudos on that anyway people are even not yeah. doing the lockdown anymore there's traffic on third Milan bridge so. okay moving oh, wow. on quick pink opens up about praying more after her son caught the coronavirus the singer and her three-year-old son tested positive of covid 19 she revealed this while on an instagram live chat with her friend and author jen pastilov um, she said, there were many nights when I cried and have never prayed more in my life. It is funny, but at one point, I thought they promised us our kids would be okay. It's not guaranteed. There is no one that is safe from this virus. 
Yeah. I don't think anyone is protected from these from um, from these um, COVID nineteen streets. Um, anyone can be anyone can be a victim. Anyone can be infe infected. Anyone can contract it. And I just feel some kind of sympathy for for Pink. You know, I mean, just to watch your your little baby, who she thought, you know, because they did say that kids have been have um, their immunity seems stronger um, over over the, over the virus. But it's it's not it's not it's necessarily not. true. We've seen six months old, ten months old, um, get contract this virus. Mm. You know, so just the thought of she watching a kid every day, waking up and seeing, and then at some point say his, his temperature went up to as high as a hundred. I mean, and that's, it's still could, staying at a hundred. I mean, you even know, three and weeks that, after. that can scare anybody. You know, like. Damn, how did it get to this? You know, so I'm, I'm, my prayers are with her, really. I mean, and hope he he comes out of this. I pray, I pray he survives it. Mm. I hope he will. I think he will. Yeah, um, I have hope for them. Although she has been in the news several times for her health, and it's yeah. gone really bad a lot of the time. So I personally am a fan, and I'm worried about that. Um, but she seems to be doing... Like she's functioning, like she's not like, you know, going into the stage four where you need like a ventilator or anything like yeah. that. So we're hoping for her to like recover. And I saw on her tweets when um, with her fans and stuff, she seems to also be doing the, I guess you can say the herbal method, which I really pride myself in as an African. I think white people, Caucasian people don't really do that. And there's a lot of benefits you can get from that, just like going back to the roots and ginger, garlic, all that type of stuff. So it's nice to see that she's doing everything that she can, even if it's outside of that culture, because they don't really do that. Anything that she can to do, if it's praying and adding all that stuff, I hope that she does get better. About the prayer, I think it's very natural that people, even non-religious people, tend to go, like, tend towards praying um, when you're in a situation that feels very helpless. I think it's a natural thing that once you see that your human, your human capacity is limited, you you seek something higher. So I hope she finds comfort in that, really. And I'm really hoping that we start to hear some good news from her family and that the husband and the other child is safe because it seems like they're still living in the same house. I don't know what the arrangement is like and how those people are not catching the virus. I, mean, I don't understand what's even they, going they on. It could be but... asymptomatic. I mean, remember, I mean, the people who are asymptomatic to it. Right. So just just maybe. Have they, have they, have they done the test? Not, nothing bad that has been said yet. Mm. So just maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, moving on, a growing list of Nigerian entertainers are reacting to arrest to the arrest of Funke Akindele by the Lagos State government um, over chewing a house party during the lockdown order. Some are directing their grievances at the government, while others are directing theirs to the people. Yul Edoche took to Twitter to slam the government. He said, and quote, this country safe, I tire. You arrest Funke for not observing social distance and take her to court. Right there in court, everybody is clustered outside the court. All the reporters are clustered. No social distancing observed at all. Shouldn't they all be arrested as well? And comedian A.Y. Marco says, those who called out for Nke Akindele should do the same um, to oppressors in government. Nollywood actress Iyabo Ujo said, and I quote, what happened was wrong, no doubt. However, we are all humans and no one is perfect. So on her behalf and hobby, I apologize once again. It is going to be okay, dear. Stay strong. She mentioned Funke Akindele and JJ skills. Um, she says this too shall pass. But moreover, I would like to bring to your notice, sir, that everyone, most especially the media personnel who went to court today, that was yesterday, of course, on this issue should all be quarantined um, because there was no social distancing in display. Thank you, sir. At Jide Sonwolo. End of words. You know, this, this is a case. They're, they're missing the point completely. Totally. I feel they've, they've, they've missed the point. And our celebrities always do this when one of their own is called out on something. Especially a powerful one you, yes, that they can know, benefit from. I mean, let's exactly. Just, let's just oh, say yeah, thank you for that yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they have a lot of benefit from Kufunka and Kindle for Christ's sake. I mean, Everybody I mean wants they, they missed the point uh, completely. completely. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. They missed the point completely. She was in the wrong. She apologized. But are there she consequences? She pleaded guilty. That's it. She went to court with her husband. She pleaded guilty. And so what's all this thing about them? The, the people, let, let the government worry about those people. Did we, <laughs> do, do we say yesterday that yes, we felt it was wrong. The, the clustering in the court in the courtroom, yes, but that happened because somebody violate, violated an order. I mean, people and, and should not gather. On that order, you know. she viol she violated the lockdown order, order, not the actual social distancing. Let's Exa even put exactly. that in mind. In fact, just so, a, just a two so, things. I mean, they're both charge, they're both important, guilty. and I understand yeah. that they didn't practice social distancing. But social distancing, according to what I've researched, isn't actually the order. 
the order is to be locked down. down. At that's home. It, yeah, that's so a, everybody just said it, who was things. there, um, who was there, is a press or essential service, yeah. and had the right to leave their houses. The difference here is that Funke invited guests that didn't have the rights to leave the house that was supposed to be locked down. And I understand because Nigerians will say again, but then everybody's outside and there's traffic in Third Milan Bridge, yes. But two wrongs don't make it right. And we all know that it's not like as if Nofunke did the most terrible thing. We needed a scapegoat. And to whom much is given, much is expected. So I guess that's just how nature worked. I mean, she's pleaded guilty and she's done her, her crime. I like the way the last lady, I keep forgetting her name, how she said it. Because I noticed that a lot of yeah, celebrities... Yeah, yes, thank you. I noticed a lot of celebrities were doing this thing of like, you know, gang together and support your, your member and immediately look like as if no, we're ungrateful and, but yeah, we, we, we might be fans. I saw a video of a guy saying she has done so much for the society and I'm like, Dude, What society? What? Uh, she, she worked on her career and she grew her it. career. Yeah, she, what she, society? I mean, I think she, she, I think she does certain, have yeah. a lot, uh, in comparison to other people that I know of personally, she's a lot more given and has been given willing to way. share her platform to many people wow. that I don't see with others um, okay. I know even in our house there's a lot of upcoming musicians that don't really have much to offer her it's that she's business, offering I don't think that's what I'm saying they're, they're just, these people the people that are in her house that I know of are not giving this man any money it's all like good goodwill and I don't want to take that out of she she, come, she yeah she oh, um, didn't observe the lockdown but I think she's a phenomenal woman and I can't say that for a lot of women in that industry anyway now I forgot to my trade of thought it's okay let's move yeah, on you wanted to defend her phenomenal no I wanted to, def oh, yeah, I I wanted to even defend what her the ladies comments that the celebrities are doing that thing where we can't actually have an opinion and exactly. that and i don't think right. that's right i think you can love someone yep. and still call them out if they're something. wrong yeah. yeah i mean and people say that other people are doing it well i'm not giving other people my money i'm not holding other people accountable other people are not my celebrity or my influence or my yeah. role model so it's kind of different like if not we will not be talking about this right we're talking about every other nigerian that's on you know, and it's uh, pretty sad yeah. Yeah. Um, hold on yeah. i want us to focus on what happened in court that day. I like that you've come come to say, oh, she she violated the lockdown order and then there's a difference with social distancing. Yeah. However, Those are two different things. everybody yeah. in that court that day were very responsible. Whether there was a law about social distancing or not, nobody is supposed to tell you people that if normally you're supposed to have 100 people, for example, in a courtroom, in this time and age, you should be able to say, you know what, this time around, we cannot take more than 50 or more than 20 because yeah. this hearing must go on, understandable, but we still need to practice social distancing. What we saw yesterday in court was highly responsible of even from the judge to the person prosecuting and everybody I, there mm, carrying cameras. I don't think the judge is in charge think, of who is going to allow how many people to come mm, inside. I don't, I don't think the judge If I am sitting down in a place that is that crowded, at this time, it's it not is their my responsibility. Respons no, 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 it is everybody's responsibility, responsibility. to it, protect it everybody. everybody. If, I'm yeah. my, if you're going on the streets now and you see a crowd gathered, are you going to walk into that crowd? No. No, but well, is it my responsibility to make sure that because that, 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 is, gathering that is happen? Because that is in public, but this is your courthouse. Of course. So it I mean, is, I agree. It's fair for you to say, oh, we need to have there's somebody that should be responsible and people should be responsible for the movement. How many press comes in? If at least people saw the mask, I would be happy. If there is, in the same breath that we are using to say Funke Akindele did something wrong and yes she has she has paid the price of what she has done yeah. it's the same bread that we are supposed to go back to tell the people in that court that they have done absolutely wrong in trying to correct something you did something worse than what you are trying to correct and it is it is worrisome it, it just shows that we are not thinking we're just doing and acting and behaving. Yeah. We are not pu putting in proper thought into whatever we are trying to do as people in this country. And it's, <laughs> it is really scary. Yeah, and, and let me say this, right? It's, it's so easy to always point the finger at the government, yeah. forgetting that we are the government. Yeah. The, the government, they're not aliens. They, they, they're people from amongst us. I mean, seated on that um, public office, and the president was, is amongst us. He didn't come from out of space. You know, so the more we don't begin to realize that we need to begin to take social responsibility for us as a people, we can't continue to point the finger at the government because mm. we are the government. Mm -hmm. So because um, the government is not doing something, so we, you, you want to also not do wrong, and that should be overlooked. Right. Because that's, that's the vibe they're giving me, you know, that uh, there are bigger issues to, to, to yeah. focus on. After all, the government has not I been... I see that in The yes. culture of impunity. Because this has not no. been dealt with, then we should forget about this. So where exactly are we going to start from? Yeah. If you say, oh, Elsie has not been punished, so Ife should not be punished. So everybody should not be punished because one person has not been punished. But like you said, there had to be a scapegoat. Do I love Funke Akindele? Yes, I do. I followed her journey from 
I need to know. And I love her success. And she has worked hard for herself, yeah. right? And I like where she is and how she's growing her business and her empire. However, I also like how she has handled the situation and decided to say, you know what, let's just split beauty and move on. I, I hope that she learns from this as well. Because like you have always said on this story, to whom much is given, much is, much is expected. And she is part of those that much have been given and much is expected from. I think that's how I feel about it. Yeah, so um, this celebrity, she just should stop, um, just stop what you're doing. If somebody's in the wrong, like if I rightly said, I mean, just because I share, um, I have, I'm sentimental towards you, doesn't mean if you now do wrong, I shouldn't call you out. I should be able oh, to call you out. Oh, that's their culture I mean, here. That's you know, their way of life. So it, Once it you're doesn't a celebrity, work for me. no other celebrity comes yeah. out to tell and you. And, and like the yeah. story that, oh, because she's done wrong, what about these people that have done this? What about, Imagine that's that. what a lot of celebrities have been um, hounding in our ears. And it kind of makes me um, bothered a bit. Like, sometimes I feel like celebrities don't even know what. It is that they are doing like they don't know they what's don't. going on they, because they it's like it's, you expect our love you want us to love you and follow you and like you and give you good compliments and give you our monies in different ways but then you don't want us to have an opinion and you don't want us to no, dislike you're not, you no, you're not well, obviously to it's all about our business you know. and we should mind our business but if you mind our business no one will know who you are so let us don't give me um, boundaries and pick and choose when you want my attention. It is a, it is hundred percent natural and normal, and I don't think there's anything wrong for any fan that has said that um, you know what I, I dislike I, I dislike this act or whatever. I don't think that that person is an yeah, evil person or wish bad on her or things like that that I'm hearing. So yeah, all right. All the That's best how we we'll wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and um, you can also watch this episode and Tea Time on r tv and also on London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Benny Ag and Ife Omai and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Just stay with us.